It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we'll be watching the Huskies create a quarterback. He's coming off a nice week throwing the ball. Four touchdown throws. It's the Huskies and the Black Knights. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us north of the border in the historic French-Canadian city of Montreal, Quebec. Today it's week four and we've got what should be a great one here as it'll be the Black Knights of Canton taking on the Huskies of Montreal. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Montreal club. They've got to be pleased with a start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Meanwhile, for the visitors from Canton, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. It's 3-0 versus 2-1, and one, a good early season battle as we're underway in Week 4. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6-4. And they are in rhythm on offense because of him. I mean, right now, he's got everything going the way he wants to, finding the receivers the way he wants to, looking over defenses. No interceptions is the number I lock in on. Before a touchdown pass isn't so bad either. Yeah, what a game he had last week. start on the ground here on first down and he'll be taken down right around the 27. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Now some movement before the snap and we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. The false start penalty and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Dalton off play action. Out to his left. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Under heavy pressure, and down goes Dalton on the sack. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Dalton now to pass. And the pressure gets to him again. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. Passing, it's Dalton. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they'll have a short field to work with inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've comped it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. So now you've got their offense coming out for the first time with great initial field position. And led out by their veteran quarterback. He's been around a while. They don't celebrate birthdays for him. They just cut him up, see how many rings he's got around the middle. He has been in the league a long time. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm time when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. 
Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. They give up the middle to Johnson. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Black Knights use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. And on his way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing the run, making sure you power your way through. One-on-one -on -one tackle, no running back wants to go to the bench and say, ah, I got stopped just short. Now the try here for the extra point. It's up and good, and it'll give his guys a 7-0 lead. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Play action now, Dalton. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And Dalton to throw. Now throw right side here, gonna be incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. The result only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up second down. Up the middle, Johnson. And the defense closes quickly there, and he'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Here is third and five. Well, this defense very strong in that victory from a week ago. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them, in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But you look at this defense. Yeah, they played well against the pass, currently ranked seventh in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. On play action, they'll throw. 
Throw left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And his kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, in an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Now the Montreal offense ready to take over now. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Dalton. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Now a handoff up the middle. Ash, and he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Ash. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Dalton with a quick throw out wide. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it's second down. Dalton here from the gun. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll go down at the 28. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Andy Dalton. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. And it'll be Dalton again. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. That's number four, sack number four. They had four last week, so he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they say the eye in the sky does not lie, and that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense will be searching for sack number five. Good footwork at the 30. Stops short of the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Here's Dalton. And that is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. The Canton offense takes over once again. 
And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Back to throw here. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. So roughing the passer call is accepted, and this officiating crew not making very many friends here with this crowd. Yeah, we all know that everyone accused the officials of kind of playing to the home team, but not in this case. They're just trying to administer the game the way it's supposed to be. That drew the flag. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Back to throw. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 31-yard line. They try the left side with Johnson. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Black Knights have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Now that touchdown won't allow you to totally relax, but you can breathe a little easier now. Just increased their lead. Extra point attempt to come here. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So that drive spanned five plays. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Point after try, forthcoming. And it's up through the goalposts. It's 17-10. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to have time to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series so those surface tablets come into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. 
They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Again, it's Johnson. And he'll be taken down well behind the line, and I think he might have just given those four yards right back. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking, but to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. So possession goes over here on the punt. For the Montreal offense ready to take over now. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They'll run on first down. Ash, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. So Dalton now. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll try the left side. Ash, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short, and yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. They'll try to pass on fourth down. Dalton, he's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. So a big play there on fourth, and now first and 10 at the 30. Throwing, Dalton. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> he's got to throw it better. Got to get more. Now he's hit, and Dalton lost the football. And this is picked up. Look at this. Middle of the field, a breakaway. And he's going to bring the fumble back for a touchdown. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's return for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, but the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. And 
And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. I don't care who you are. 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt. Hard to make even in practice in the best of conditions. And now, worst of all, you have the other guys the ball to start their drive at midfield. Here comes the Canton offense to set up shop. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. The first down carry here for Johnson. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Give him ten yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Now a tenth carry for Johnson. Down to about the 37. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 23 yards the pick up there. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still... Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Here's Johnson again on second down. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. He'll look to throw. And his pass incomplete. And down here, first and goal, if it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. Dumping it off for Johnson. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and that will lead to a third and goal. They're going to look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. And this one is right through. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And just shutting him off there. And he returns this to the 22. And the Montreal offense ready to take over now. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Dalton, first and 10. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Dalton sets up play action. On the move to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now another timeout called for by the offense, as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Play fake. Here's Dalton. He's going to look deep down the field. And incomplete on the deep ball. Similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. And he missed it. It's no good. And they will not cut into that 10-point lead. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone. A lot to get to here this final day of September. So let's get started. Thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's got Mason complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be delay a delay. Game. What you talking about, ref? The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still first down. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. They'll look to throw. A yeah, quick throw there is incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, 
it's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They cannot afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and three. And Dalton to throw. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. And that's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask a defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And, partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Dalton now to pass. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. So they bring out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Hey, we won't do what we do. And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think Automatic about the differences down. between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Dalton. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Another chance for Dalton. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Dalton off play action. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be fourth down. 
And his kick is indeed good. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. So three points, maybe not a grand prize at this stage, but it does get them back within one score. It certainly does because now they stay within shouting distance. So that means everyone on your sideline stays engaged in this game. They know they still have a shot. Here comes the Canton offense to set up shop. Mason. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well executed 22 yard gain. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Now a second and 10. They'll look to throw here. He finds his man complete. That's Sherman. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. Back to throw again. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. They'll look to throw again. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. Johnson running right. 64 yards rushing for him now to this point. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and it may be a guard can slide up to the second level and block the linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. Hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. They go play action here on first down. They'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards on the pickup there. They go back to the ground with Johnson. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. Here's Johnson again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Under pressure, and he'll go down, back at the 26-yard line. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. And his kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's another shot now for the Montreal offense. 
And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. On second down now, Ash. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. A first down throw coming for Dalton. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And this will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Here comes the Canton offense to set up shop. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and 10. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. There's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Schmidt. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll motion out one of the tight ends. Johnson is into the end zone. Touchdown. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here's another shot now for the Montreal offense. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. And this offense on third down today, they've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. Here it's third and two. Oh, he shifts past him. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Andy Dalton. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 39-yard line. 
passing. It's Dalton. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards on the play. First down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Dalton. And that nearly intercepted. Well, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. 16 yards, a first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Well, partner, you and I will be headed to the airport. But after this game, when it's interview time, Someone's going to ask his quarterback what hurt worse, the interceptions or the sacks. This whole day, it's been rough. Barring a miraculous comeback, this offense isn't going to win this game, but he's probably going to say what hurt most is the loss. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20 to throw here. Dalton going up top. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Brings up third down and 20. So Dalton now. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will close the gap down to 14. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here comes the Canton offense to set up shop. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. They give to Johnson going right to the 43, second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula, just keep the ball on the ground, keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Now left side on the swing pass. They'll give him four yards there, and now that sets up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. Yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Here's another shot now for the Montreal offense. 
Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Dalton, first and ten. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Dalton. And this one's incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Big fourth down here, it's Dalton. He's gonna rifle one deep left side. And that's gonna be incomplete. A fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back. Touchdown! A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Black Knights look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down. And after that, the air just went right out of the balloon. And you knew you were looking at a defeated team. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's another shot now for the Montreal offense. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Now Dalton with a first and ten. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. 23 yards on the play. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Dalton. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. And it'll be Dalton again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. In trouble, and he's taken down. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A big-time sack there on fourth down. And this defense will take over right at midfield. Uh, the D brought the house. They called the blitz, and they get to the quarterback overwhelming the O-line. And I would love to know, and we'll find out later on, was that called before the play, or did they audible into it? Because defenses change plays as well as offenses. Sometimes they get the set they want, 
They go right to the blitz, and in this case, they nailed it. Got right to the quarterback. No chance on that fourth down. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five. They go to Johnson again. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Yeah, good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 95 yards rushing now as he's done it on 22 carries. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Here's second and 10. Brings up second and 10 at the 32-yard line. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 15 yards on the play, first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams, right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So for Canton, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for Montreal, they're going to fall to 3-1 and one as they suffer their first loss. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.